last time you and your partner or spouse had a disagreement, an argument, or maybe even a big fight? And was it that same ongoing disagreement that you have over and over again? Hi, I'm Dr. Jan Anderson. I'm a psychologist in private practice, and I specialize in working with executives and professionals, many of whom are couples. Here's what the marriage research tells us. You can tell within the first three minutes of a disagreement beginning how it's going to end. The first three minutes. Now this isn't new information. We've known this for a long time, but when it starts on a negative note, it's going to end on a negative note. That's what we know. And what do I mean by negative note? Generally, if it's a criticism, if it's sarcasm, if it's insulting, um, that's a negative note. So what is it about those things that uh, we know not to do these things and yet somehow we keep doing them? Or we think they're okay. For example, sarcasm. I didn't know there was anything wrong with sarcasm. I grew up in a household where that was the norm. So I was in my 30s before I realized there was really anything wrong with sarcasm. And when I notice that clients are getting insulting with their spouse or partner, it's not usually because they like insulting their partner. It's usually because they're so frustrated that they're not getting through, they're not being heard, so they keep escalating. And it, it escalates into something insulting. But to me, the most interesting difference is between complaining and criticizing because most of us don't know the difference between a complaint and complaining well is one of the best things you can do for a marriage and criticism, which is one of the worst things you can do for your relationship. So an easy way to remember the difference, or what is a criticism? If the first words out of your mouth are you, and especially if it's followed by always, you always, or you never, that's, you can be pretty sure that that's a criticism. So this is really important to know the difference because complaining well, again, is one of the best things you can do for a marriage. And notice I said complaining well, not complaining, <laughs> but complaining well. So if you're interested in learning how to complain well so that this next time you have an argument with your spouse or partner, it can start better so it can end better, please reach out to me. I like to do a 15-minute telephone consultation so we can quickly figure out if I'm the right helping professional for you. And I can usually respond within 24 hours and you can get started right away.